Welcome back to Projects Gaming. My name is Cal. Today we're going to be looking at doing a test bench setup. The reason why is because over the time we've done a lot of computer builds and naturally you're going to run into issues with components and having a test bench to test it out will make our lives a lot easier. So today we picked up a test bench from Taobao and let me just look at the item. So there's no brand for this but it sells on Taobao for $87 RMB. I'll put up the link and let's see what you get for that. But before we start, please subscribe, like, hit the bell notification and we'll get to unboxing. All right, so here it is. This is what you get in the box. It's pretty thin packaging. So very simple, you have the the grid, I believe this is for the graphic card, a bunch of toolkits with screws, and I think this is the starter button, and some zip ties. And the cool thing is, these bow wrap is heart shaped. Hey, just a quick reminder, if you guys are still looking for a gaming mouse, please check out the Projects Gaming Sleeper. Every mouse that you buy helps with the channel and let's get to it. Okay, let's do a deeper walkthrough of all the parts that you're getting. So right here you have the, the grid and then you can see that there are rails on all sides for you to, to attach accessories. And then one of the accessories you get is a handle, so you can actually attach that anywhere. So right here, it's with these. You slide them into the rail and then you tighten it up. And then this one is for the graphic card. There's actually two of them. They give you zip ties. And then this is for the, the holder for the power button. Like this. And then it also comes with these end caps where you can slide into here. And then you also get some thermal paste, and then you get four pouches of screws so that you're able to attach all your uh, peripherals onto it. And then a couple of uh, hardware tools. And that's about it. And then the layout of this, so this can actually fit up to an ATX. And the way it works is you have the ATX mounted here, and then you can have the power supply here and then the graphic card will sit here and then uh, if you're running um, AIO you can put it right here and that's what we're going to be doing.
So the, the build is finished. Uh, we plugged everything in. I just want to make one correction from earlier. So when you're installing the graphic card uh, in early in this video, I did it incorrectly. So this is a correct way of doing it. Before I had the screws lined up to here. If you do that, then essentially this grill is blocking all the entry points. Uh, so that took us a little bit longer than, than we wanted to figure out. But other than that, uh, it's pretty good. Also, I wanted to point out these two buttons just to give you the sound quality of it. These are really nice, so I wanted to highlight them. Yeah, they sound really nice. So that's a wrap for this video. So some final conclusions of this, this is probably the easiest build that I've ever done. Uh, so usually if we're filming a build, it usually takes about two days. But for this one, it took us half a day to do because we didn't have to worry about anything because everything just is very easy to put on. Uh, you don't have an issue with constraints and space. And we're not going to do the usual testing uh, just because there's no heat issue whatsoever in this form factor. And cable management, it's a bit messy, but we're going to leave it as as is, because uh, it's meant to be as a test bench, so we can take Pete's parts on and off, uh, make sure that they all work. Uh, just to end it off, this is my first time building a test bench, and I really like the form. I think if we were to do this as a, a more clean build, we probably tidy up the cables, I think it'll look very nice. But the only issue is that it's all open air, so it's gonna get very dusty. But uh, yeah, honestly, it's been an absolute pleasure. and. That's it for today. We will see you guys in the next one.